Hi, welcome to Paige's Planet. I want to start this with like the biggest thank you ever because look, look, we made it! 100 subscribers! going to be maybe the beginning of a Pages Planet Halloween tradition. Are you ready for the first edition of Spooky Stories with Scuba Scott? Hello, I'm Scott Conjure, and Paige is my daughter. And I want to share with you an experience I had scuba diving out here in the Gulf of Mexico. And this was a few years back, and actually I didn't have scuba equipment, but I was snorkeling with a mass snorkeling fins. And uh, we were swimming around, me and a couple of my brothers, and we were swimming around looking for lobster. And when we spot a likely spot for lobster from the surface, holding our breath, we'd swim down to that spot, and we'd see the lobsters hiding up under the rocks or down in a hole, and we would reach down in and grab these spiny lobsters from their hiding spots. I went down, and it was probably about 20 foot of water, and you gotta be able to hold your breath pretty good as you might imagine and I spotted this big old flat rock laying on the bottom. I said, it looked like a likely spot that might harbor a lobster. And they went down there and up underneath was a hole about this big around. And I could see the antennas of several lobsters sticking out of that hole. And as I swam up and approached, they began to back up in the hole. So I reached in real quick. Now we had heavy leather gloves to protect our hands as they have sharp spines and the sea urchin, the coral and so forth as well and it went all the way up to our elbow, these heavy leather gloves. Well, I reached in, I was feeling to grab one of the lobsters, and I remember thinking, what in the world? This is all so kind of gooey and, and squishy in here. And I thought there must be some sponge or something growing up in there, and I stuck my hand up in there, and, and then all of a sudden this vice-like grip went down on my forearm. And real quickly I realized, what well, it wasn't a sponge, but evidently I had stuck my hand down into the throat of a big green moor eel. And these green moor eels can get huge, over 150 pounds. And often when they see a threat coming, they'll back up in their hole, open their mouth, displaying their teeth, hoping that that would be enough to de deter you from following them down into their hole. Not knowing it was there, I reached in for the lobster and evidently I put my hand right down into his throat. He didn't like that very good, as you might imagine, so he clamped down on my arm. Now, fortunately, I had the leather gloves, because his razor-sharp teeth would have done some severe damage. As it was, I could feel the teeth scratching me a little bit through the gloves. My first instinct was to simply relax. He's just scared, trying to defend himself, and he'll let go. But after a minute or so, I'm holding my breath. I need to come up for air. I couldn't relax any further. And so I began to pull to try to get myself free. And he began to pull, trying to, thinking I'm trying to pull him out of there. And we had a tug of war going. And before long, as you might imagine, I became desperate for air. And I was able to get my knees up underneath me and I pulled for everything I was worth. At that point, I didn't care, my arm came off. And I needed to get up for air. And I popped free. And desperately, as once I popped free, I began to swim to the surface. And it's kind of, began to black out on my way to the surface. And the next thing you know, I'm laying in the deck of the boat. And fortunately, I had made it to the surface, but I was unconscious. And one of my brothers near the I came up near the boat. One of my brothers in the boat noticed that something was wrong and got a hold of me and drug me into the boat. And once I hit the deck of the boat in the bright sun, I coughed up some water. I regained consciousness or realized where I was at. And I went back to check to see my arm. And that glove had slid down and balled up around my wrist. And doing so actually created a lot of protection. The glove itself was completely shredded by this guy's razor sharp teeth. But underneath, my skin only has some minor scrapes. So I was very lucky that day that uh, things could have turned out a lot worse. I always like to say as well, as lucky as I had an extra pair of gloves, I was able to go back and catch some more lobster as well. Happy Halloween, everybody. Remember, stay safe out there and have fun. I will see you guys next week. I am so excited for a 
just a thank you for 100 subscribers. I would love if you guys could suggest animals or ecosystems or uh, stuff you want to know about the aquarium or working at the aquarium for the video next week. So just put those suggestions in the comments below or let me know on any of the social media links which I will include in the description. Okay, that's it. Bye-bye.